Good morning. Sorry guys, I have not been painting for a while. I was busy. And uh, today I thought very quickly let's paint, especially since my, I don't know what happened to me, but I forgot to charge my phone at night. So I only have 50% charge. Morning, good morning. So today I am painting on this tiny little, well not tiny, they are six by six um, uh, gallery wrapped canvases. And we'll paint something very simple, then it very quickly. So first of all, let's put some background, which is a white color. And as we do that, we need to make sure that we put it on the corners of a canvas. And let's see, I guess we'll do all of them, try to do it quickly enough, so all the corners, all the corners have to be covered with paint, and I did put the tape as always on the bottom, the masking tape, so it does not, when we take off the masking tape, it's not going to be as messy on the bottom with all the paint dripping. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And this guy, all the paint everywhere. Good. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space in between each of them. So when we pour our paint on, it will drip. Okay, let me wash my hands or wipe them, whatever it is. And say hello to everyone. Thank you for joining. Hello, hello. All right, so that was our acrylic white paint. That's our background. I'll put a little bit more so it will flow better. Remember, we don't put silicone in our background or our white color. So let's see. I'm obsessed with blue, as you know. So we can do the blue. I'm recycling my cups, so this one is very dry, so I'm happy I can use it. Put a little bit of white on the bottom, just a little bit. And we'll start with plus blue. Plus blue. Don't have a whole lot, but there's my wonderful blue color. Love it, love it, love it. Dark blue. I am out of it, so I'm just going to use my finger to scrape it in. So the next color will be, let's see, how about citrus? Do you think citrus will work? Let's see, just a little bit. Okay. How about, let's add some gold. I love the gold in my paintings. Just going to give some shine to it. So let's add a little bit white as our I guess the color in between. Hopefully it's not gonna mix too much. Um, let's see, how about turquoise? Let's do turquoise now. Just a little bit of turquoise. There we go. It's empty too. Let's see. Should we add, I have copper. I'm not sure if I want copper. Let's see if we add a little bit of copper, just a tiny bit. And more blue. I love blue. I also like magenta or purple. We can see. Let's add a little bit of purple to our blue. There should be plenty. So not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of paint. But the canvas is only six by six. So what are we gonna do? Would you like to do the tree ring? Let's combine them quickly this way and then we'll spread them again. And we're just gonna do one, two mixes. Tree ring or not? Nah, not tree ring. Maybe, I don't know. I cannot decide what I wanna do. Or 
all right. Something, right? Not really sure what it will be, but it will be. All right, so let's start tilting it. Just a little bit this way. I'll come back to those. This way. And let's see. This way. I like it. I like the purple in it. Let's trip it on this side. The purple is pretty. Let's see. That's beautiful. A little bit this way. I would love to have my negative space, so I'm trying not to cover a whole canvas with my paint. Right, that will work. See, I like this colors are dripping. It's pretty. Okay, let's do this guy. Let's see. I like this purple. So let's move it this way and out of this way. Rid of this and this guy. All right, I think that's cute. Look at this. Look at those drips. They are gorgeous. Okay. How about this? All right. That looks like a little Christmas tree to me. Purple Christmas tree. <laughs> This way. Mm, let's see. Let's see how it's gonna look. Absolutely love when we have the negative space. I think it's so pretty to have a contrast. All right, I think this is good. What do you think? Uh, beautiful drips. Gorgeous. All right, and this guy. Let's see. Oh, my cat fur like I need it. That's what you get when you have animals. You get the fur in your paintings. Good luck getting out of it. Oh, I don't think I want to tilt this one any longer. This was already gorgeous. Look at the drips. Gorgeous. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, I think this is cute. I'll just add a little bit of white here where my fingers are touching. And here. I think we are good on this one. I think it looks gorgeous. And uh, let's see how it dries. And hopefully it will be beautiful. And I absolutely love varnishing them with resin is just because resin brings out all the colors but i think this is cute thank you very much for your time watching it i appreciate it and um, if you have any questions let me know pm me i'll post it online on my um, youtube channel thank you bye